we've been talking about prayer. And prayer is profoundly personal. In the last chapter, John White, in his book, Daring to Draw Near, describes the prayer of our Savior on the night of his betrayal and then on the night of his crucifixion. What struck me as I read it was how deeply personal the prayers of Jesus were. From his struggle in the Mount of Olives, the Garden of Gethsemane, asking the Father if there wasn't another way to accomplish what needed to be done, to his prayer from the cross to forgive those who were mocking him, spitting upon him, tormenting him, and of course the thieves on either side. And then finally, the prayer of commending himself into the very hands of God. Prayer is personal because it's a relationship. And you can't have a relationship that is real and rich and intimate and not have it personal. What an amazing God we have that in the prayers of the Savior reminds us ultimately prayer is God's invitation to relationship and the cross is the bridge into forever. I hope this has been a meaningful study for you. I haven't always agreed with the perceptions and the opinions of White, but then again, I rarely do. What I found intriguing are some of his insights. I hope you have too.